Well, here's the trick. The pine cone is uh, directional, kind of like a piece of uh, like grass, the grass seeds. So you can catch a fish with a pine cone if you, without a hook even, but what you have to do is you have to set the pine cone on the line like this, or actually like this, so when the fish's mouth comes up like this, it hooks onto the pine cone and the pine cone grabs the fish. And so it, it, it creates tension like just like a fish hook would. If you put it on this way, obviously the fish is just gonna slip right off of the pine cone. So it's not gonna grab. So what we're gonna do is just do that. Fish love pine cones, they'll come up and grab it, especially big fish, obviously. And then it'll come up, grab it, latch onto that, and we'll be able to bring a fish in without just a pine cone with no. What you're looking for is a and I'm no botanist, you know, but you're looking for the short needles. It almost looks like a really small ponderosa pine. I don't know what this is. Is it a blue spruce? Whatever. But uh, anyway, what you're looking for is these kind of pine cones. And um, what's nice is the pine cones float beautifully. So it's kind of like dry fly fishing. They, I think the fish kind of think they're mice, you know, because they have that similar body. And so what we're doing is we're looking for one that's kind of a mouse size like that guy. And I like the curvature of this one. You've got almost like an armadillo looking guy because you got a you got the large scales on the back, the small ones on the on the belly, what would be the belly. And uh, that's a really good one that'll grip the fish really well. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab that guy, put that in my pocket. I like the way that floats, it's nice. It's got good action, it's just like a mouse, just like a dead mouse in the water. Cat with a pine cat. Pine cat.